mile seven in the Brooklyn Half Marathon. A late start, it's already quarter to eight. I just uh, got to my post a few minutes ago, just in time to call in the first male runner and the first female runner. Mile seven is the exit of the park. Uh, we're working here with the uh, amateur radio emergency service areas of Brooklyn, of King Count Kings County, with some help from other counties to support this event. As you can see behind me, the runners are uh, just piling up. This is basically the first wave. The first runner ran around uh, 10 minutes ago. First male runner, first female runner. Um, and so we, are, uh, we are supporting this event as part of Aries, uh, Aries of uh, Kings County. And we are, and we are going to be the uh, sweet bus as well, which is going to, uh, which is going to collect all the lame and name. Hopefully nothing will happen. Security was very tight here this morning. It took us a long time to get credentials uh, and to get in the park, but we did it. And as you can see behind me, the runners, some people are supporting the runners. And uh, we're just doing what we can to uh, make sure this event goes in uh, safe, sound, and without event. Uh, K2EFG and mile seven. I'm here at mile seven. Uh, it's about uh, half an hour later. A lot of the fast runners have passed us. These are the these are the crowds. Uh, everybody's here cheering and clapping. It appears that a storm is coming. We got notice that we may have to pause the race. I don't know how this is done in real life, but. Uh, in any event, uh, we are having a lot of fun. Every kind of runner, every kind of body type, every kind of style, uh, ways to dress, you name it, we see it. Uh, with that, uh, K2EFG supporting areas of Kings County. Hi, this is K2EFG on mile seven. I moved locations, the uh, rain is started, and uh, this is clearly, clear, clearly uh, making a difference here. We are not sure if they're going to continue the race or not. Uh, they may cause the race. Uh, important piece is uh, to, uh, to remember is that to uh, always keep security first. So we are we are all taking shelter as advised by net control, and and uh, we're going to monitor the uh, monitor the race from remotely. Although there is a chance of a lightning, uh, so they're monitoring this closely. As you can see, the rain is uh, very strong. The race is uh, moved to uh, yellow conditions, which means the road is not uh, in uh, great running condition, but they have not yet stopped the race. Uh, we are uh, helping uh, the race organizer evaluate the conditions. Meanwhile, the later uh, stations are already reporting uh, injuries, and so people are slowly stopping uh, uh, from the race. All right, we hit uh, mile seven uh, with the rain very strong behind us. Uh, the race is uh, moved to yellow conditions, which means the road are uh, slippery. The road is slippery, but they have not closed the race, they have not stopped the race. Uh, there are some uh, reports of injuries in the uh, upper miles, mile 10, 11, 12, but uh, nothing uh, in this area. We're in uh, mile seven, and we're still seeing people exiting the park in a very fresh way. Uh, but the rain is strong, uh, no, no question about it. So I'm still here at the race, uh, right at mile seven behind me. Uh, the end of ending of the uh, end of the and uh, they are uh, running. Uh, I've seen them all uh, with tutus, with funny T-shirts, with a horse uh, mask, with flags. I like the T-shirt that I saw that said uh, "Running sucks." That was pretty funny. I saw a few friends. They all, uh, they all said hello, uh, people I know from the community. It's uh, turned out to be a nice event. Uh, in mile seven, K3F.